Good Tuesday morning. A little bit cloudy out there to start off our morning, but we should get into some sunshine eventually by the time we get to the afternoon hours, but really mild as you get ready to step out the door, at least compared to yesterday. We dropped down to one degree was our low yesterday here in St. Joseph. Right now it is 29 degrees warmer, so that puts most of us in the upper 20s and the lower 30s out there. Now it is a little bit on the breezy side. Those winds coming out of the south close to 15 miles an hour this morning, so that is cutting into the wind chill. Lots of upper teens out there and some of us even feeling like the 20s for this morning. And you can see those clouds starting to push into the area. So for the next few hours, we'll be bouncing around with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. We should get into some sunshine, though, by the time we hit the afternoon hours. And that's going to give us gorgeous temperatures for January. Most of us should see the low to mid 40s by the time we hit the afternoon hours, which should be the warmest day of the work week. But while it's going to be warm and for the most part sunny out there, it is going to be on the breezy side. So we do have a wind advisory in effect for a few of our counties just right along the island. Iowa border. This is in effect now until 5 a.m. on your Wednesday. Southerly breeze is going to be breezy today. Eventually it'll come out of the northwest as a cold front rolls through. That's going to cool us down and eventually give some of us the chance for some light snow. So let's track out this snow for you. Most of your Wednesday drive, we will have building clouds across the area. And then after about 7 to 8 p.m., I'm expecting some light snow to push in from the northwest and push off towards the south and the east. Most of it should be falling in the overnight hours, so I think many of us likely will wake up to a fresh blanket of some light snow for your Thursday morning, which could cause a few slick spots on the road. So something to prepare for now to give yourself a little bit of extra time for your Thursday morning commute, and that's going to leave us with some bitter cold temperatures for your Thursday. Most of us likely will be in the teens for your high. So here's a look at my current thinking for what we're going to see as far as snowfall. So it pushes in from the northwest and starts to push out of the area to the south and the east. So up towards the north, really not going to be a huge event for snow. Most area seeing less than an inch, likely around a dusting south of about Highway 36 down close to I-70, a dusting to a few pockets closer to about two inches. So really shouldn't be a huge snow event for our area, but most of us likely going to see some light snow, which could cause a few issues on the roadway. So just something to be prepared for. Also with that snow, the bitter cold temperature. So here's a look what you can expect for your Wednesday. Most of us will barely make it up into the 20s for your high, but look at that wind chill. Five, six degrees is as warm as it's going to feel in the afternoon tomorrow. So it's going to be quite the change because today will be above average 43 for your high. We'll get to some sunshine this afternoon, but it's going to be breezy today. Wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour tonight. Cold front rolls through 12 for your low with clear skies and tomorrow 21 for your high. But remember, it's going to feel a lot colder when we factor in that wind chill building clouds and that chance for snow late on your Wednesday. And here's a look at your five to seven day forecast. We continue on with our roller coaster temperature. 40s today, 20s and then teens. And then as we move towards the weekend, it does look like temperatures will start to warm up. 45 for your high on Saturday.